Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hey, guys, we got some sightings going on. We got some interesting things in the sky, as we've been saying. And so you see right here, this is out of the Charlotte Observer. Strange lights off the Outer Banks spark UFO debate. Was it aliens or the military? So this right here that you're looking at here is a video taken by a gentleman named William Guy. And this is his uh, YouTube site. So go here and check this video out for yourself. Honestly, it might be flares. I'm wondering, you know, this could be flares coming down. Who knows if the military was, you know, doing some sort of exercise perhaps. Or maybe it's even just a formation of um, planes out there. Hard to say. It is curious. I've shared with you guys before that when I was on a cruise once, four of us were eating dinner, and uh, the gentleman and his wife that I was with, he started looking out at, out the window, and <clears throat> I said to him, what are you looking at? And he's like, that light, it keeps like going way down, going up. And it was relatively calm water, so it wasn't like there was big waves. And we went out on the deck, and we we, we just watched this thing for like 15 minutes, and it did go down into the water, disappear for a while, and then came back up and then disappeared. Like it took off and went into outer space, just boom, so quick. It was so weird. Uh, and this was in an area south of the Bahamas, um, really actually in the Bermuda Triangle when you think about it. Uh, interesting. It was really unusual. We had no explanations for it, but it got me thinking about uh, William Cooper and his book, Behold the Pale Horse, how he recounted seeing a ship when he was in the Navy, uh, a spaceship, a classic saucer come up and up from in the ocean and surface and then shoot off. So, you know, it just got me thinking about that. Now, are these UFOs? Are these alien ships? Are they flares? <laughs> you know, are they Chinese lanterns? Uh, I don't know. You guys check out the video. Let me know what you think. This is definitely causing a debate here. Yeah, it's 31 seconds long. There's 14 glowing orbs over the water. You know, I and I've gotten so many videos myself lately of things in the sky blinking in and out of, uh, apparently in and out of this dimension sometimes. I don't doubt it. I, I totally do not believe we are alone, as I've shared with you. And when you have these firsthand events yourself, then you, you're you just convinced. And, you know, nobody could ever tell you you're just crazy or what have you. Um, so some of the thoughts is it could be flares. It's interesting. There's other video here as well uh, from Rock Hill. And these, there's a lot of these up here. These rotating spheres, these orbs. And, you know, I wasn't going to bring this up in this video. <laughs> but, you know, it got me thinking about, and this is really creepy and I hate to go here. I hate to go here, guys. Do you remember the movie Phantasm? I don't know if you guys remember the movie Phantasm, but there were these orbs in this movie. Now, this is a creepy, creepy movie. And these orbs go flying around so fast. Um, do you guys remember this? Well, you know, these things that we're seeing in the sky, it's, it's reminding me of the orbs from the movie Phantasm. So, shifting gears just slightly. We go from those orbs to a space bagel. Yes, no kidding, a space bagel. Russia is going to fly a donut-shaped spaceship to the edge of the solar system. And no, it's not going to have any frosting on it. So a team of Russian scientists is developing a donut-shaped spaceship that can reach the farthest corners of the solar system in record time by taking power directly from the sun. The spaceship's clever method of sourcing fuel will allow it to overtake even the fastest probes, unravel questions about the origin of comets, and even provide electricity. 
to future Martian colonists, all while proving Einstein's theory of general, general relativity. And so the plate covering the middle part of the bagel-shaped ship is a solar sail. You know, we've, we've talked about this before as well. And so fascinating that that ua mua mua was shaped just perfectly, exactly as most people would expect for an interstellar traveler. And now we have that comet coming as well. Is it really a comet? So this bagel-shaped ship will have that solar sail, and it's coated with a special substance that will begin to evaporate as it approaches the sun, giving the ship a boost of jet acceleration without having to carry heavy engines. Using the pressure of sunlight in this ingenious matter will allow the sailboat to speedily get to the mysterious Oort cloud at the edge of the solar system, where it's believed comets are born. The duration of flights to other stars is gigantic. Voyager 1 high-speed probe will take 300 years to reach the Oort cloud. Our sail can reach it in 20 to 30 years, said Professor Olga Staranova of Samara University's Department of Space Engineering. That means that we, or the next generation, will be able to obtain evidence of existence of clouds presumably generating all the comets and examine what remains of the formation of the solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. Pretty cool stuff, especially when we see this. <clears throat> NASA satellite footage shows a ring-shaped UFO in space, so is somebody already there? Is somebody already ahead of us here? Is this where the Russians got their idea? Uh, or is, you know, is this one of ours up there? So a baffling object, the shape of a ring, has been filmed passing the International Space Station. Some think it could be just like the craft that was spotted in a famous incident 23 years ago. The footage captured on the ISIS, I, or the ISS live feed shows two separate cameras from the station. In the bottom one, a bright ring makes its way across the screen. Clip is fuzzy, but a YouTuber managed to zoom in, and it's, it's shown to be a fully formed circular object. And so this is it. So is this either an ET ship that is already using that type of technology? Is this something different? Is this energetic? Is this some sort of intelligent being? What do you guys make of this one as well? And so the thing that's really interesting is they've seen something almost exactly like it back in 1996, as we see here. And the 1996 tether incident. Very interesting. You know, space is not what they told us. Not at all. Not, not at all. And so we are basically swimming in an ocean of oxygen and nitrogen here and you know as well as carbon uh, dioxide and we know that the ocean is just a di different viscosity a different thickness but perhaps the same thing is with space you know they wanted us to believe this is this lifeless vacuum but life abounds out there Life abounds out there. There's bacteria floating in space. There's viruses floating in space. You know, there's there's water. There's everything we need. You know, the sun is throwing off everything we need for life. Life is abundant out there in many different dimensions. And so here we see alien research group started by Blink-182 singer says it's found exotic UFO material. Tom DeLong pulled off an astonishing career change in 2017 after quitting the band. He co-founded a group called To the Stars Academy of Arts and Sciences, all about researching aliens. And now he says he has some exotic material samples from UFOs. Yes, yeah. uh, it's unclear what he has his hands on. And, you know, he... And we've seen so many things go on lately, and, and they're quoting, remember, the, the Navy recently revealed that the UFO footage that we had seen before of, you know, Navy ships, Navy uh, aircraft, tracking these things in the sky that they cannot keep up with, they cannot move like, and verifying, yeah, that's re those are real UFOs. It's not them, so they say, and they, have, and they are real, there's something there, uh, but they don't know what. 
So pretty interesting. You know, disclosure is all around us right now. It's obviously in process. And, you know, we've never been alone. And that's my opinion. We have never been alone. And the, the universe is teeming with life. Teeming. And so it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. What do you guys think? Do you think in your lifetime you're going to see full disclosure? And will it be made by the government, or will it simply be made by some ETs that just come out here and just say, yeah, we've been here the whole time? Will we see a fleet in mass? Will we see something, you know, like what we're looking at here? Now, I, I, the other thing I want to share with you guys is I had a series of dreams a long time ago that have always haunted me. Um and in them, it's kind of like this, except for you take what we see here and you put that over the entire sky wherever you look. There's all these lights in the sky. It happened three times, so I pay attention to it. First time when I was 19 years old, my first apartment. And um, I remember looking up into the sky and saying, there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And I don't know if they were like meteors coming down like it was an insane meteor shower which has happened in the past or if it was an invasion you know like a military invasion or if it was the ets coming in mass or perhaps interdimensionals materializing in mass i don't know but it always haunted me and when I've mentioned this before other people have said they've had the same dreams and visions so have you have you had any experiences with aliens, with extraterrestrials, with interdimensional beings? What have you experienced? I look forward to hearing what you guys have experienced for yourselves. And I want to encourage everybody again to subscribe and click the bell over here to EE Arts. And that's the second channel. It was the backup channel. Now it's the second channel. This is going to be more spiritually orientated. And uh, evolutionary energy arts will be uh, earth changes and current events for the most part. So make sure you're subscribed to, to both channels and click on the bell. And if you're so inclined, you're welcome to join us over on Patreon. There are some unique videos that go up there uh, that we can't put on uh, YouTube uh, just because of the topics and speaking openly about certain things. And so for just a dollar a month, you could join us and be part of the family over there as well and support the channel. So my friends, as always, God bless, stay safe, keep your eyes to the sky. Namaste.